Simon Jörnhansen, what a race, what a day. Describe your feelings finishing this uh, World Championships. It's been a lifelong dream. Um, I really can't find the words. It's, the form has been good and I've tried to stick with it. And But then making it happen on the day is something entirely different. Uh, mm -hmm. And I didn't, yeah, I believed it all day, but still it's... Uh, I have never tried such a hard thing and I've blown up before and many times and you never know so I only believed it when I crossed the line and even then we saw. I still can't believe it so amazing nice you looked already very strong on the bike course uh, well when did you feel the legs are really good it could be my day they actually felt good in the beginning the first run was hard not too hard but and then uh, in the beginning I actually couldn't believe the pace or power I was pushing uh, but I know it's it's not about the first 50 kilometers, it's not about the first 100, it's about the full 150. And I've blown up before on the last hill with 20 kilometers to go and lost everything. So I knew it was okay, but you, you can blow up in a second and that's it. So I couldn't believe it. I could believe it first when I wrecked the bike, but then you have a long run to go. Uh, Let's talk about the run. Uh, when uh, did you feel it could be, well, again, my day uh, when you took uh, over the lead or uh, yeah, when you got the first gaps? Uh, when I started hearing the gaps, I thought, OK, this can be good. But still, I, it was only when I was on the top on the last lap that I maybe started believing it because you can blow up. Uh, and, and it was actually only the first our last hundred meters i thought okay now i can celebrate now it's a, a victory i know it's time for celebration thank you so much and we see us uh, for the victory ceremony thanks Melle Bruni, so congrats for another great race another world champion title today congrats describe your feelings Thank you so much. For, I'm, it's just an amazing feeling and I'm overwhelmed about all this race. I mean, it was super exciting. The first run was exciting. After the first lap, I had like a six or seven seconds gap and I tried to close the gap and I, I caught the first group, uh, the first three, and then I um, got first on the bike. And then uh, the ride was really tough. It was hard. Um, but I mean, in the end, I made it in the second run, so I'm, I'm overwhelmed and I'm really happy. You took the title two years ago. Uh, well, can you compare these two races? No, it's completely different. I mean, um, the main difference is probably the weather. <laughs> the conditions uh, two years ago were so different. It was freezing cold and this year was so hot. <laughs> I had to drink a lot and also on the bike I had to take a lot of um, a couple of bottles and fill them in my tank so that I can drink um, enough. And then also during the run I had to take the time at each station um, and like take a couple of steps a little bit um, um, uh, less <laughs> fast to, to um, drink something. There were some special situations on the bike track. What uh, happened there? I mean, the bike track is um, really tough. <laughs> and um, it's, uh, it's hard to um, see the others, um, how they fight. So uh, I had to give my best and uh, try to get a gap to the others. And finally, you got the gap during the run. It was a steep uphill. Did you attack or just Melanie had uh, difficulties to follow? I, um, in the first lap, I tried to see how she's going, 
and I had a feeling that she's not that strong anymore on the second run. So I tried to uh, run with her like the first lap or the first two laps and then I just um, got to the front and I didn't really realize that there's a gap but then the I think the Belgian trainer uh, shouted to me it's like a 20 seconds gap and I look oh <laughs> you're right <laughs> it's a 20 seconds gap so it was not a real attack I tried to attack in the first lap but it didn't go well <laughs> so uh, I think my uphill running was a little bit faster today so congrats again and we see you for a ceremony congrats Mary Brunet thanks